What's up guys? Welcome back to the Philadelphia Phillies Rebuild Franchise here in episode 4. We're about to take on the Braves. Now I'll warn you, for some reason the footage after about the 7th inning, it got erased. I don't know what happened, which kind of sucks because it's actually a really good game. Uh, but I'll show you everything I got and then uh, since I lost the footage, I'll show you our, I ended up simming and going ahead to the draft. So I'll show you the draft picks and stuff after that. But here we go. We got Jules Chassin taking on Brett Oberholzer as, if you remember, Charlie Morton's on the DL. So Oberholzer is getting the starts while he's gone. And like I said here, Jules Chassin starting it for the Braves. He's 2-3 and three with a 2-5-6 ERA. He's got 19 walks already. 39 innings. So we'll be looking to take advantage of that today. Odubel Herrera is leading off for us. He's gotten off to a pretty hot start here in the early going. Look to keep it going here against the Braves. And he's going to hit it off the pitcher's foot. And that's a single. So a leadoff single for Odubel Herrera to start the game. He stays hot. Chassin looks like he might be injured. He ends up staying in the game, though, so it must not have been too serious. Top of the first, two outs for Ryan Howard, and he gets into one, and it's out of here. Ryan Howard, his first home run of the season, and the Phillies take a 2 to nothing lead in the top of the first. And that was funny. As I was playing, I was just saying, looking at his stats, I was just telling myself when I was playing the game, he did not have a home run yet. And we're halfway through May. So he uh, he goes deep here, and that's great because, like I said, we're probably going to be looking to trade him at the deadline. And, you know, if he ain't doing nothing, nobody's going to want him. Anyway, here we go. Brett Oberholzer, like I said, getting a start for Morton. 0-3. The 3-4-5 ERA. He'll be looking to... Do some help out the team here, and in the first inning, he'll get the batter to fly out to Herrera, so he's good through one. Here we go, bottom second, one out, and he's going to give up his first base hit of the game after a clean first. We'll go later in the inning, two down, one on. And he's going to ground it to Franco. And easy play over to first. That retires his side. So Overholzer's clean through two. Top of the third. Two out for Cesar Hernandez. And he rips one. And that's back. Francoeur looks like he has a play and he drops it. Hernandez around second. He's on his way to third. And they're going to rule that a triple. I thought it was an error. I think it should have been an error, but it's going to be ruled a triple. His third triple of the year for Cesar Hernandez. Next batter, Mikel Franco, looking to score him. And he's going to botch it at short, and that's going to go as an E6 with an RBI ground out for Mikel Franco. So now it's 3 nothing Phillies. Top of the third now, Ryan Howard. Looking to do some more damage, but he's going to pop out to the third baseman. And that'll retire the side in the third. Bottom half of the frame now. Overholzer. Nobody out. That's another base hit. I'll say, you know, he did pretty good today in this game. He ends up pitching pretty well. He'll get into a little bit of his share of trouble, but... Uh, and this is it. Right here, single round first. Four just looking to tag him out, and he's going to slide in there. He's safe. Cuts the lead 3-1. to one. Inciarte with RBI single. Later in the inning, it's going to go two back to one. That's a double play to get out of it. So they'll squeak one by, but Overholzer gets out of a potentially bigger jam. 3-1 through 3. Leading off the fourth is going to be Freddy Galvis. Oh, apparently not. 
That's my bad. David Lowe now top of the four with one out. Galvis is on first. So that's a base hit. We got runners on second and first. David Lowe, he's surprisingly been pretty good for us here. Same inning now. There's two down for Brett Oberholzer, the pitcher. And he's going to help his own cause here. It's essentially going to be an RBI. Or I'm sorry. Infield single. And uh, the pitching coach, he's uh, not happy. Nice After a nice little chat there, Odubel Herrera now. Looking to get in a run, and uh, it's not going to work. So here we go, bottom four now. Full count. Three, two, three to one is the score. That's uh, that's deep, but it's gonna be off the wall, and a, that's a leadoff double. Bottom four here, two out. Runner on third. Galvis looking to make a play, and he does, and retires the side. You know, remember last game, he kind of had a rough, he had a couple of errors. Today, he was clean in the field. Double line down the left field line. So, Overholzer starting to get tagged a little bit. Is that the double? Same inning. Two down, runner on second. That's another double. And that's going to score. A run. It's now three to two. Bottom five. Drew Stubbs at the plate. He rips a single. And they're going to send the runner. Burgess gunning him out. And he's out at the plate. So Burgess showing off his arm. We go top six. Carlos Ruiz. Another man on the trade block for us. He's going to get hit by that pitch. And now he's got first base. Two down in the six for Burgess. He gets into one. That's deep. And he catches it at the wall. Nothing going. Burgess is retired. Enciarte pissing me off. <laughs> Brett Oberholzer now top of the seventh. Look at this. Brett Oberholzer, he's two for three. Relief pitcher. Starting for the injured Charlie Morton, who's on the disabled list. Helping his own cause, two for three. Odubel Herrera now getting another base hit as he continues to stay hot. Top of the seven, nobody out, two ons for Cesar Hernandez. And that's a base hit. Overholzer will be stopped at third. And now the bases are loaded with nobody out. And that's it for Jacina Flaherty now in the pitch. Two out now, Freddie Galvis. And he's going to hit to second base. Nothing going. Strand, the base is loaded. And that's when I lost the footage. So here we go. Here's the draft. Andres Nieves, our first. O we had the first overall pick in the draft. We went first base. Andres Nieves, he had 99 potential. Obviously, A potential here. 55 overall. He's 19 years old. Big boy. 6'5, 231. First baseman of the future. Uh, I'm very excited about this pick. We we're real. I was really stoked when I got him. Uh, he just, I think he's gonna be solid all around. Obviously, he's got some work to do, but he's gonna be great. Fernando Cruz is our second round pick. A potential, 65 overall, 22 years old, closer of the future. I mean, velocity and break. You know, he's like I said, he's balanced too. He's got a lot of work to do, but. I think he's definitely our closer of the future. Really excited to get him. Uh, as overall, it's a very good draft. Um, Alan Favre, center fielder, a potential, 54 overall, 21 years old already. So a little worried about that, but I think I think he's going to be very productive. I mean, look at that durability. Um, but like I said, he also has a lot. To, he's very raw right now. He's got a lot of work to do, but. I think he could be everyday center fielder. Obviously, Herrera 
we like him and we want to keep him around. But I think Favre has a spot. Josh Guy, relief pitcher. See potential, but he is a 65 overall. Uh, you know what I mean? He's not going to get much better, but the velocity is good. Uh, his hits and homers per, per nine are good. Uh, I think, you know, he's probably going to start in double-A, triple-A. You know, right away I could see him coming up and helping us. Andres Gutierrez, same thing. See potential. Uh, he's only 56 overall, but he is only 18. And obviously, you know, his velocity is already there. Uh, this bullpen help, if anything, so I don't have to sign people. Uh, Robert Woodruff, I like this pick in the sixth round. B potential, 53 overall. I mean, he's already 21, but switch hitter, he could play outfield, infield. Look at, the, I mean, his fielding's there already, his speed and base run aggressiveness. I can see him stealing. He needs some offensive work, so we'll get him, you know, some help there. As I like to see that contact up a little bit, but and then Earl Matola, that was like the one bust, deep potential, the relief pitcher, but he is 64 overall already. So I mean, I guess he can help out the AAA team. Not sure if he'll make it all the way up, but you know, overall, I, I think it was a pretty good draft class. Uh, on, again, Andres Nevis, I'm super stoked about him. I think he's going to help us, I mean, for years to come. Um, but yeah, so next time we're going to be taking on Aaron, or I'm sorry, we're going to be taking on Willie Peralta against the Brewers. Uh, we'll probably do some trades there. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. More importantly, make sure you come on back next time. For episode 5. Until then. I'll see you guys.